drop it. Hi guys, I'm Mark Scott Zickley. You may know me as the writer of Far Beyond the Stars for Deep Space Nine or First Contact with Star Trek The Next Generation or any one of the hundreds of other TV shows I've written over the years. I'm also the author of The Twilight Zone Companion, Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities, and the Magic Time series of novels. And you may know me from my popular YouTube channel, Mr. Sci-Fi, where I post regularly about science fiction. Not long ago, I came up with an idea for a science fiction TV show that would do for modern audiences what Star Trek, Outer Limits, and Twilight Zone did for me when I was a kid. Which was to say, we could have a hopeful vision of the future that by reaching across boundaries and barriers, we could create a future worth living in for ourselves and our children. I didn't trust the networks and the studios not to cut me off with pilot, cut me off with script, screw it up in a million different ways. And so instead, I reached out to the audience that I trusted. And through Kickstarter and through selling investment shares, I was able to raise enough money to open a studio and shoot the first three hours of the show. A number of the top designers from film and television signed on to our team, including Ian McKaig of Star Wars and The Avengers, and Ron Cobb of Back to the Future, Star Wars, and Aliens. I also reached out to my friends to star in Space Command, and that included Doug Jones of Star Trek Discovery and The Shape of Water, Robert Picardo of Star Trek Voyager, Stargate Atlantis, and The Orville, Mira Furlan of Babylon 5 and Lost, Bill Mummy of The Twilight Zone, Lost in Space, and Babylon 5, Mike Harney from Orange is the New Black, Project Blue Book, and For All Mankind, Bruce Boxleitner from Tron, Babylon 5, and Supergirl, wrestling legend John Hennigan, of The Last Ship and Glow, Ethan McDowell of Doom Patrol, Brian McClure of Mindhunter and Atlanta, and Star Trek's legendary Michelle Nichols. So here's where we are now. We just shipped the first completed hour-long episode of Space Command to our 8,000 backers and investors around the world in both stereo and 5.1 surround sound with over 900 visual effect shots. We're also posting it in installments as weekly webisodes on my Mr. Sci-Fi YouTube channel. I'm incredibly proud of what our team and I have accomplished so far, but we're just getting started. We're already in post-production on the second hour of Space Command and the third, and our plan is to shoot all 12 episodes of the first season this year. We've just reopened our physical studio and are busy at work building all of our sets, including an incredible alien hibernation ship and two eight-foot-tall alien creatures designed by Star Trek Beyond's Eric Rodriguez. Which is where you come in. Space Command is structured in two-hour stories that form a larger arcing storyline over the first season. We've shot Hour 3, the first half of Space Command Forgiveness, with Michelle Nichols and the rest of our cast. But now we want to roll camera on Hour 4, which will conclude Space Command Forgiveness. Let me show you a little of what we shot so far of that storyline. Coming soon on Space Command, Forgiveness. She just left. No note as to where. I hope she'd tell you. It's about her baby sister. Ella went to the asteroid belt to join Kassane's army. Oh my God. I didn't think we needed an introduction, you and me. What do you want? Come to Helios. Ready landing party arm in the teeth. Captain Kamarai. This is not your jurisdiction, it is mine. That man that you're shielding is a monster. Believe what you may about me, but let's get this done. Do not let the hatred of one person swerve you from the path of saving many innocent lives. You wake up every day crying for justice, but justice and vengeance become indistinguishable. Where is everybody? Hey! Put down the weapon. No! Deactivate him!
ship like that? No. Our ghosts aren't quiet. Are they? Bring them home. Thank you for all of the support you've given us so far. Now we can continue to create something wonderful and hopeful for all of us to enjoy. I look forward to the continuing adventure, and I can't wait to share the first four hours of Space Command with you.